Buckle up that seatbelt because you're about to watch the best videos of Fishing Girl from 2023. So the rod I have here, this is a Ninja Dagger, eight foot, six inches. And we're gonna just test out, and see what we can do with it. Wow, that just shoots out. Holy cow, I've never, I have never been able to throw a lure that quick. This is the Ozark Trail, Walmart's brand. This is full metal body. There's 13 seals in here. We'll see how this feels. Pretty smooth. So this is our first time using the Fish Bites Blue Crab flavor, and I can't wait to try it. I think something's, yeah. All right, she's looking at her phone. <laughs> yep, that is a blue fish. He liked this blue crab. I've got a whiting here, but I'm gonna cut this head off. And I've got a fish finder rig set up here. I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna throw it close to shore. And see if we can't get something bigger. This one has the whiting head. Wanna make sure we don't miss it. Oh yeah, can't tell what it is. I'm backing up though, cause I want this fish, whatever. Oh, it's a shark, fish finder rig. Found a shark. 23 inches to the fork in the tail, and then the full length is probably 29 and a half inches. We just shook the pole, and now something jumped on it. Oh, it's a jack. Oh, it's, it's a, a jack. jack, yeah. It worked. It worked. So next time you can't get any fish, <laughs> just shake, shake your pole like vigorously like a mad person. And yeah, she's gonna demonstrate. Just watch. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if your rod just started going nuts. <laughs> she has a fish. Okay throw them. Yeah, I saw shells and I was like, yep, I guess sand fleas. We have a fish on the go fish cam. Is that what I think it is? Is that a pompano on the go fish cam? Yes! Woo! I mean, he's definitely keeper. Holy moly. On the floats. These two floats, they definitely work. I needed this so bad. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, 11 and a half to the fork and the tail. He is keeper. Another fish on the go fish cam here. It's big, whatever it is. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. I caught a red fish. I caught a red fish. I don't even know what to say. Oh, that is awesome. Check him out. And he is definitely keeper size. For our next step, we're going to start layering the shrimp in the container with the non-iodized salt. And so I'll point this down so you can see a little bit better. I'm just gonna start putting it in here. It's gonna wanna stick to your fingers because and you don't want these like right on top of each other. You don't want, you want a little bit of space in between them. If not, they're not gonna cure. Here's, I call that one layer. Um, I'm gonna just cover those with salt. This might seem like a lot of salt because it is. <laughs> so just cutting down, that's not the cleanest cut. But then like I did before, I'm gonna come right through here, downward motion to get all the way down to the tail. And then we're gonna come right back up through. All right, not too shabby. Other side, same thing. Take a look at these fish as they come into the picture here. That is not sped up. Look at how those fish are behaving. And this is the fish I was calling the FWC about. They are called flagfin mohara. And when I was looking this fish up, I thought it was 
a Pacific flag fin mohara. So apparently there's two species almost exactly the same, they just have different scientific names. Here, and we actually have one hooked up. Look at that, he's hooked up back there. And we have another one in the forefront trying to get the bait. Look at him, he's coming in. He's got this sand flea in his mouth. Here it comes, there it is, a redfish. And he didn't waste any time. I'm gonna slow this down, but you'll see he just came right in, snatched that bait, got hooked immediately. Cast out and went about six minutes and then we see this coming right over the top. I'm gonna slow it down because what we saw there is indeed our first shark caught on underwater video. It is a black tip. You can see the black on the tips of its pectoral fins and look at as it comes across here on the tip of its tail. And we're gonna slow that down again. You can clearly see this bonnet head, so cool. flew right off. How did that happen? The time has come. I got to get these goggles out. I have to go swimming for it, guys. Oh my gosh, she found it. This is Laura Cutter. Laura Cutter. Her name used to be Laura Cheek. Laura Cheek. And what is so significant about the fact of you being here today? I hold the Georgia saltwater game fish record for Florida Pompano, yep. which I did 40 years ago. Yep. And just recently, <laughs> someone else here tied yes. the record. She found me on Facebook, told me, hey, I'm the lady who tied, who has the record from 40 years ago. I've never surfished before. I would love to learn. So she booked a charter and here we are. Yep, I feel it on there. Here you go, birthday girl. Oh, he's on there, yep. Keep the tension. He's running. What do we got? That's a pompano. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh my god, I can't believe she went after it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, he is running. Yes, look at him. Oh my god. <gasps> it's a catfish. Cat <laughs> Holy freaking crap. Oh my gosh, black licorice. Can you believe? Oh. What? I got a, I got a sheep's head. What? Yes. My first yes. sheep's head. Good what the heck? Get that. It's a sheep's head. Oh, sheep's head. My first one yes. ever. It's a sheep's head. Oh, I am in shock. <laughs> Check these guys' teeth out. Oh my gosh, his teeth are hilarious. This is getting hit. Please be a pompano. Come on, be a baby. Be a baby. Oh. It's a pompano. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. <laughs> that way bigger. That's way bigger. That's bigger than Oh my gosh. Way bigger. <laughs> Yeah, that something's pulling hard. Okay. This is a this is not a tiny whiting. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Oh, that's beautiful. 
<laughs> He's on our silver rig with purple clam fish bites and salted shrimp. Oh, look at this. What a beautiful fish. But I'm gonna just start it out with some salt and pepper on both sides and then some of the redfish magic seasoning. And I really like cracked pepper rather than just the regular granules. Now for these whiting fillets. All right, I think we're ready to coat these. I'm gonna add a little bit more Parmesan though. Why? Because I always want more Parmesan. I'm embarrassed, but not at home. I can add as much as I want at home. Who knows that song? Sing it with me. Just kidding, okay. I'll spare you the singing. We'll get on to filleting these guys and we're gonna keep an eye on that redfish. It's starting to smell really, really good. Okay, in the meantime, it looks like this is ready to flip. Turn it to see what it looks like on the other side. Look at that, beautiful black in color. This redfish, I think, is just about done. It smells amazing. All right, well, now it's pouring out. It's lightning and thunder. You'll probably hear it in the background. We're gonna taste test this here. I'm just gonna grab a little section here of the tail. That's good, it's crisp around the edges. Nice and meaty on the inside. Let's try a little bit of this. We'll look inside, doesn't look overdone. Got that Parmesan. Oh yeah. That's just, that's so good. <laughs> I could eat all this fish by myself. We're gonna try for it. It actually is clearing up this direction. The nice little green color in the clouds. It's a little scary. You got another black drum. Yes! Yes! We're on, we're on. Let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, it's a little jack reveal. Now it's raining. Jeez, okay. So here's this jack reveal. I'm really trying to keep this camera from getting soaked. And I'm gonna get you. <laughs> He's just flopping around. Yep, yep. All right, let's get them both. Can't say I've done this before. Let's <laughs> get them both in. <laughs> this is so cool. I don't even, I've lost track. I, don't I know have no idea, yeah. Well, the cool thing is, none of these are throwbacks. No, none of them. These are all good, good whiting. You're going, you're going. <laughs> this is the best day. I'm getting hit on the last one, but I want to get this out here. I'm getting hit again. <laughs> I've never had a time where I just leave my GoPro going because we literally are catching so many fish. Oh, there she goes. I, I have to deal with this bucket now. I don't even know how many fish are in here. <laughs> oh, I'm getting hit again. All right, hey everybody. We are down at Barn Park. I've got a good signal for my phone, but happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Oh, I'm really I got doubles. Yeah. This out, guys. Right here. So I, I Check this blue fish out. <laughs> oh, he is 13. Uh, we were all wrong. We were all wrong. We were all wrong. All wrong. We were... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait, let me. She's getting hit. I just got this bendy thing for my, for my cart cool. so we can, like, show you fishing uh, live. Well, here we go, this little whiting. I'm gonna throw him back because he's too little. He's so Aside from the videos, we had some really cool stuff happen. We went to a bunch of festivals at the beginning of the year. You might have seen a little bit of that content, but we ended up developing a whole product line based on having to have products on our table. So we have the t-shirts, we have tank tops, we've got earrings, really cool designs. We've got fishing rigs that I even started manufacturing, our float rigs. 
people are winning tournaments with our float rigs. Uh, I get comments all the time from people saying they're catching fish and they're sh sending me pictures and stuff. So that's been awesome to see a whole product line developing because of what we're doing here at Fishing Girl and it's helping you guys. That's why we're doing it. We're helping you guys. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. And as always, tight lines. God bless and we'll see you. We got this boiled down into four different categories. That was a two. Four different... <laughs> okay.